Hey guys, guess what I got in my hands? Production. Spider Coast Smock. First one out in the wild. So, hey guys, Kevin Smock with Smock Knives. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know, give you an update from the last video that I did, which was on the prototype, second prototype version. Uh, I'll leave a link to that, so if you want to check that video out and uh, see what's happened until this point. But for now, we've got the actual production model. Spider Coast Smock. So, it is mid-February, and these have started shipping out to collectors and uh, international dealers, and within... Um, I think today is the 17th. Uh, next week they should be going out to a lot of the other dealers. So you guys should be seeing them soon. I know um, some people have already gotten them. There's even already a YouTube review video up on it. So feel free to check that out. So yeah, I am thrilled. Um, I want to thank everybody. Um, Everybody that follows and supports me and Spyderco and everybody at Spyderco that has worked hard on this. Uh, it's been a long road, but we are finally here. And so far, uh, works great. Um, so a couple things. Uh, one, the first batch has come in, like I said, and it's shipping. Now... There's more coming in after that. Um, from what I'm hearing, I heard uh, uh, Eric said something at SHOT Show about probably May, June. So if for some reason you're on a pre-order list somewhere and they don't get it filled in this batch, there are more coming. So no reason for anybody to set their hair on fire. Um, but they, uh, uh, and, and they'll keep producing this. So this isn't like a limited run. Uh, I'm assuming that they're going to keep making these as long as they're selling. So uh, don't be afraid that you're you're never going to get your hands on one if you didn't get one in the first batch. Um, and the pre-orders and the long wait times, I'm sorry about that. I really didn't have much control over that myself, obviously. But there were some revisions from the first prototype that we wanted to fix a couple of minor issues, um, which they did. Uh, one of the things was the pocket clip. Um, just to go over this briefly, the original pocket clip I designed kind of went around the lanyard hole, so it was moved up a little bit. The problem with that is, is that it's not good for left-hand carry. You couldn't, you couldn't flip it over to the other side, which was completely my fault. I'm just used to doing things for mostly right-handed people, and if I get a left-handed custom order, I just switch the controls and everything over for left-handed. So that was part of it. Um, the other thing was they wanted to add a second detent in here so that when you push the button, the blade just didn't drop. Um, which, I don't know if it would have did that anyhow, but uh, just for safety precautions that they wanted to add a second detent. And I know I was getting uh, questions on if that second detent hindered the functionality of the knife. It didn't. Um, I can't tell the difference between the version that didn't have the second detent and this version um, works just as good either way so uh, I think that they they did that for safety reasons and it's it's fine it didn't change the knife whatsoever uh, also we added a couple of um, uh, chamfers here on either side to make the um, spider coat hole easier to get a hold of because it's it's kind of recessed down in there and I did that intentionally because I didn't want this blade really sticking way out. Um, part of the idea of this was to have it very narrow so that when it's in your pocket, it's not taking up a lot of room. Um, so that's why we did that. Uh, also, let me know what you guys think about the pocket clip and the lanyard hole. Uh, I've been getting some people saying that they wish that there was no lanyard hole there and that the pocket clip was up higher me personally um i'm i'm not really um i'm not really i'm not really a fan of lanyard holes but at the time 
uh, that this was designed, which was three years ago. Uh, this thing is this thing's been in the making for a while. Uh, lanyard beads and stuff were a huge were a huge thing. I was getting complaints on my customs because I don't put a lanyard hole in my customs. So I didn't want to have a lot of people complaining that there was no lanyard hole. Um, and in the time span of, of development of this, uh, lanyard beads have are not as popular as they used to be. So that's just kind of the breaks. And um, uh, a lot of Spyderco knives have the lanyard holes. So I see comments here and there that somebody didn't want to have a lanyard hole, but it's hard to judge on are there 100 guys and only five of them that are voicing their opinion that didn't want a lanyard hole, but the other 95% of the guys are happy. It's really hard for me to tell to know whether to, to um, look at changes in that realm further down the line. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, I, I take notes. I listen to you guys. So if there's future revisions, uh, these are things that I'm going to bring up. Um, also, the pocket clip is a little bit down further than, you know, like at the end of the knife. Or it, it doesn't have a deep carry pocket clip. Personally, I don't like deep carry pocket clips. Uh, mainly because of the fact that if all of all of this material is gone and you have a deep carry pocket clip, when you reach into your pocket to grab it, you're literally putting pressure on the pocket clip. So when you're trying to pull it out of your your pants, sometimes it gets stuck. I don't like that. Uh, so I like having a little bit above to grab a hold of. That's kind of my personal preference. Um, and me being the designer of it, that's the, that's the way I did it. But again, if you guys want to change in that realm, let me know. Um, it's something that I can look at. There are uh, we did make this so that this drill pattern is pretty much a standard, like a, a paramilitary two. So there are lots of places, you know, you can get them on eBay, um, pocket clips that are deep carry pocket clips. So if that's something that you really want, there is that option that you can switch them out. And I have no um, delusion that everybody's going to like this, you know. There's no knife that's perfect for everybody. That's just not how it works. But um, I made this with uh, my criteria, things that I like in mind, because um, it was made after the SK-23. And, you know, I hope that uh, you guys all enjoy it as much as I do. Um, from what I'm hearing from pre-orders and stuff, that it's... Uh, selling out everywhere really fast. So I'm hoping that... Um, um, I didn't let you down as a designer of the knife, and uh, I know Spyderco didn't let you down because this thing's awesome. Um, the quality of it is great. Uh, the action is nice and smooth. I, I, it, it came out perfect. I, I, I can't really complain about anything. Let's do a real quick comparison of an actual SK-23 Custom because normally I don't have SK-23 Customs here because especially at making a video, because as soon as I get them done, they get shipped. I don't, I don't have them just lingering around. <clears throat> but I just finished this one the other day. So this is 3V blade, titanium anodized handles with Timascus inlays. Same functionality, the flipper. My customs, sorry, my customs are a little tiny bit shorter. Um, and I did that intentionally on the Spyderco smock because I, I know a lot of people were liking longer knives. So I made this one a little bit longer for the masses. <clears throat> Same functionality. It's a button release compression lock. Um, so yeah, that's, this is what started it. And now we've got a Spyderco production model of it, which is awesome. One other thing is I've taken some orders for customizing these. Um, I'm not going to take a lot of orders because I've got a lot of backlog orders that I have to take care of. But um, every once in a while, check my Instagram, follow me. Uh, I am going to do some modifications to these. So I've got a handful of guys already on the books because I uh, announced it on Instagram. 
but I'm not going to be able to take like 50 orders of these. There's just no way. So, but in the future, I may keep doing them. <clears throat> um, they will include things like, you know, uh, G10, micarta handles, you know, if you want an orange one, um, or carbon fiber, titanium. Uh, I kind of want to do some battle worn Cerakote titanium handles. Uh, I even have a couple of orders for Timascus handles. And uh, when I get into that, I haven't really got into that too much at this point. Uh, I might include things like uh, rounding the spine, uh, acid stone washing the blade. Um, you know, if you really hate the uh, lanyard hole, then that's something that I can delete out of it when I'm making custom scales. Uh, maybe even drill it for a deep carry pocket clip. We'll see. Uh, I haven't really gotten into tearing this thing apart yet to find out what all um, things that I can offer as services for these. But um, just so you guys know, because I mean, that's how I started. I, I started this whole thing by customizing Spyderco knives. So uh, to make a full circle of going from modding to making to having a production knife to modifying the production knife, um, I think that would be kind of pretty cool. So uh, follow me on Instagram, and if you're really interested in modding one of these or having one of these modded, um, let me know, and then I'll just see if it's if I'm in a place where I can get you added onto the books or not. Um, just depends on where I'm at. So guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you an update. Um, they're starting to ship. You guys should have them in your hands soon. Um, if for some reason they ran out of pre-orders um, because everybody's been buying them up, um, there is another batch coming in in a couple of months. So just hang out, wait for that, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I absolutely love it and uh, hope you guys like it as much as I do. And again, you can check out that other video. <clears throat> I probably go over some more details and whatnot in that. I want to keep this one kind of short just to let you guys know that follow that it is out and um, shipping out to dealers and should be in your hands shortly. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good weekend, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Later.